Hey guys, Jade Arrow here, and welcome to another 1v1 match on Arabia in the yellow. Playing as the Goths, we have White Court, and his opponent playing to the green is Hera, and Hera is the Chinese. And uh, Goths versus Chinese. Hey, sir. Definitely would favor the Goths in this position. Chinese are more inclined to go with archers, but uh, but Hera could also come out with knights in Castle Age, and Hera is probably yeah. thinking of going Huskarls. And Chuko knew against Huskarls actually don't do too bad for an archer. If he if Hera can mass up the Chuko News and then get some Cavalier out in front of those, then he actually could do alright against the Huskarls. And take a look at the map here. White Core does have these two pawns on the side, which is kind of obnoxious. It's gonna make it a little difficult to wall this off, but it shouldn't be too bad. His Two golds are out front. His main gold's in the back, though. So, he's got that going for him. Stone is also in the back. His secondary stone is on the front. And he's surrounded by hills. The choke points between his base, uh, between the wood lines in front of his base, are on hills, which is going to be kind of annoying if he's going up against archers then he's most likely going to be fighting uphill. But he could also wall these wall it off and keep himself fairly safe. He can wall off the front just fine. On the side, probably going to put down palisades and some of his buildings. And he's missing these last two sheep, but he's probably going to find them without a problem. Hera, on the other hand, he can't really wall this off that easily. This front of his base is horrendous. He's got his main gold and his secondary gold past this hill. Like, this is a huge hill right off the front of his base. Other side of his base he can wall up just fine, no problem. And he has gold back here he can fall back to. But these two golds on the front are going to be a problem. And his wood lines are also on the front. Which is just going to make it really tough for him. I think his best bet here is to go aggressive with uh, some archers. And then in Castle Age, uh, crossbow and mix in some knights. And he just needs to play this aggressive. He needs to delay White Court as much as possible from getting... Uh, Huskarl's going, and also can't really afford to be playing defensive with this bad of a map. Like, th this is just terrible. But for now, he's got fairly good builds going, and this build he has could be going scouts, is what it looks like. Not too sure about that, but it looks like he's probably going to be going with scouts. Uh, maybe man-at-arms into scouts. And White Court looks to be doing the same thing. So both these guys have very similar build orders at the moment. And White Court's just scouting around for the time being. Whereas, I don't know where Harris Scout is. Uh, yeah, I don't know exactly where it is. So yeah, we're going to see a drush from Hera. He's going out and collecting 10 gold. And going to bring her back. And yeah, he's got the 10 gold. I'm going to throw that in. Now he has enough to make 3 militia. And he's got his barracks out. And he's going to make his militia... White Court also doing the same. But he's also going out to gold. So, 
probably archers from him. But with only two... Oh, I actually don't know. With only two, you could go with either uh, archers or scouts. But if you were going archers, you would need to add a couple more. Or you could just be doing this. And going forward, he sees this hill. He sees how terrible it is for Hera. And he's just going to go forward and push this advantage. He's got man at arms coming out. They are cheaper, being the Goths. And the Drush is here for Hera. And he's going to see it now. And Lycor's going to palisade this gold off. We're seeing a Vil fight, but Hera is fighting uphill. And so he's going to be doing less damage while taking more. Man at Arms upgrade coming in now for White Court. Needs to be careful not to lose these militia before that upgrade can come in, though. But he's going to get it now. Oh, I'm going to sneeze. Hold on. Okay. We're good. Uh, but he's, he's idling these villagers here. And... And he's forcing that tower down for Hera. And that's a pretty good spot over on this side or on this side would have worked just fine. This side, defending the stone as well as the gold. On this side, it's ensuring that White Court can't just walk through into this wood line. But now White Court's just going to come forward with these villagers. And he's going to put a tower on this side. And this is going to be a very crucial fight. If Hera can defend, then he'll be in a pretty good position. But if not, he's going to be so far behind that it's going to be very tough for him to come back. Tower's going to go up. All of these villagers are idled. And now he just has to run over to this gold. But it's so far away that he's going to have a tough time keeping that under control. More man-at-arms are coming out for Whitecourt. He's sending more over. He just keeps creating man-at-arms. He's not stopping. But uh, the archery range did go up for Hera. Second one going up on this hill. And White Court is going to rush down this tower. And he's going to get it, too. These villagers are having to run. And they're just trying to wall them off here. And yeah, he's going to do just that. Put a house there, palisade there, and yeah, palisade there. There we go. He's walled White Court out. Uh, I think he has. Is there a hole right there? I... Wow, I can't tell if there's a hole. I think there's still a hole there. Yeah, there's still a hole there. That is deceiving. Holy! <laughs> wow, okay. Uh, I don't even think either of them are going to notice that, because that is so deceiving, being on that hill. But skirmishers coming out, archers coming out. More man at arms are coming out for Hera. But if he's fighting man at arms against the Goths, he's going to lose with the cheaper infantry for the Goths. And he does get his upgrades for a reduced price, being the Chinese. But he's going to be outnumbered. So it probably isn't going to matter all that much. And both of these players are just still making man-at-arms. Just constantly. Archers are now coming out for White Court. He's seen how many archers Hera has. And he's going to make a couple archers to counter that. White Court's expecting this. And he's got some skirms out and ready. And I think... I think Whitecourt tried to tower this gold, and he lost a vill. He could lose another one. 
but Hera has defended from this forward, and quite nicely too. He's killed a few villagers. This archer range has gone up forward. Whitehort was probably feeling pretty dominant with his situation, but he's gonna lose that archer range, and he doesn't have one back at home. So that's kind of, I don't want to say a waste of wood, but it's definitely gonna hurt him. And Whitecore is not giving up. He is coming forward again with more villagers. What is he gonna do though? Hera sees these, his archers, and he's just gonna kill them all. With his men at arms and with these archers, he just micros this right, he can take out all of these villagers. One's gone down, and I don't know what White Court was thinking, but it really didn't pay off for him, and he's gonna call GG. Well done from Hera on that defense. This was a terrible hill to fight on for him, and White Court tried to exploit, to exploit that, and it didn't work. So, good job from both of them, and thank you all so much for watching. I really do appreciate every single one of you amazing people, and I'll see you all in the next video.